Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get track to region connect on in DSS Studio and how to visualize it. A brief introduction here about the track to region connect on and its difference from the conventional region to region connect on. On the left hand side, we see that the conventional region to region connect on. Usually, this would be presented by a square matrix as you can see here the regions are listed either on the vertical side and the horizontal side for the rows and columns they are the same and then for each of the entry there will be a quantification of the connectivity with each region pair so that's the region to region connect on um, that being used really in most of the US image and fill either using function MRI or using diffusion MRI tractography. On the right is the new track to region connect on where it's a little bit in different format. As you can see here, the vertical size are the regions of Broman area, but down the horizontal, which is the column here, are the names of the tracks. So the concepts are a little bit different. Instead of mapping region to region connectivity, here the role of the matrix are the regions but the columns are the tracks and here is mapping the connection or connecting strands between tracks and region pair so why do we need a new yet another connect home so there are several reasons why we uh, prefer not to use region to region connect home and using tractography. The first of all is we have no idea how regions are connected. For for function MRI, of course, we don't have signal from white matter. But in diffusion MRI, we have signals from white matter tracks, and then the role of the tracks are always very important in forming disease status or informing the functions. But the conventional region to region connector have no idea of how regions are connected. That's the first problem. And yet the most important critical issue with conventional region to region connect on is uh, the accuracy problem. As you can see here, here's a, a, a picture taken from uh, a famous uh, 2017 study, the ISMR tractography competition study. Here pointing out the limitation of tractography. Here we call it the crossing and region kissing issue here. So as you can see here, it's showing the track. And imagine we have four regions, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that we would like to quantify their connectivity. But as you can see here, there could be a ratio of the, this region connected to the lower right, but there could be a part of the track that connects the upper left to the upper right. And when the track merge together, it's more like they forming a bundle in the middle. We have no idea what's the ratio of the track going under and going the upper side. So even with the best signal to noise ratio or the best quality, we still have no idea of how many tracks from this region really goes to another region when they merge like a bundle. And this is like everywhere in the white matter. Most of the tracks like this configuration, they kind of branch it now at either end. So in terms of quantifying how regions connect to another region, it's really hard, it's almost impossible to get the accurate count with respect to what's the ratio that goes to one region as to another. Uh, due to this we call the crossing kissing issue. That's because when Tracks merging the code together with no idea whether it's just a crossing or just kissing. But with the track to region connect, it kind of like bypassing this problem. As you can see here, we here the tracks is a viewed as an entire uh, entry, and we only concern whether the entire track connect to each of the region. So, for example, if we have this track here, we are not really care about the ratio between whether this region connect to the upper side or lower side. But as you can see, we see it as a whole, like we can connect whether we quantify region connect to each of them. So it's not like we solve the problem, but we view the, this connectivity issue from a new perspective, kind of bypassing the problem. So take for example, for this uh, example track, tractography showing the left ocular fasciculars. There could be some region in the broadcast area to re 
Unikis area. And if we to map the region to region connect home, we have to make sure that whether this region connect to this region or that region and what's the ratio of it and each of the exact connectivity. But when the track merge all together, you see here there's a bottleneck here. We cannot reliably map whether they are crossing or kissing. Even though we could get a very close estimate, it could be far from truth. But for track to region connect zone, we see the entire tracks as a, a one an entity, and we only quantify what's the ratio, what's the tracks have been con connecting to with each specific region, like here, the, the broadcast area, tranquilities, and then the winning keys and all the inferior temporal though. We don't really want to dig into each of the ratio of region to region connectivity, which is causing the problem. So how to do this in DSS Studio? We will use um, an example here. Let's start it in DSS Studio. So it's starting the program. And here, just for illustration, we'll use the, the cryptography template. So we switch it to the second tab and then open the human adult address. And now you, it's going to be showing like uh, the interface here. You may see the slides or the things in this 3D interface. There are other videos about how to uh, uh, use this interface to map the track. So we're here it's going pretty quick uh, using automatic cryptography to map some fiber pathway, for example, the arcuate fasciculars, for example, the left hand side, right hand side. So the first step to, to get the track to region connect on is to get a track. And there's a way to do it. Uh, the easiest way to use the automatic fiber tracking. And here is a quickly map the left and right side aqua fasciculars. I can add more like the singulum or a list of the track of interest. Here I would recommend some major track under the association pathway, which has the reason is that they always have a large individual variation that could be correlated to uh, cognitive function or some critical functions here. So for most of the study, you will consider major track under the list of association pathway. So for example, here the singulum and all the things, uh, or either the inferior frontal occipital fascic uh, fasciculars. So first we get this track. And the first thing I'm going to show you how to visualize the track to region connectome. To visualize the track to region connectome, the next step is to define the brain parcellation. Similar to the conventional connectome, we will need to define what are the regions. Here, I will just use the HCP NMP, which has a lot of tracks um, supported by, uh, defined by a nature study. Or either we could use the conventional Brahman regions, which is so good. So I just set the other regions here and add it in. Now we have a list of region on the left and a list of track on the right. Now we are ready to see how the track to region connect homes looks like. Now we just set the first one, the aqua fasciculars, and then let's go to the options. There's under the region rendering, expand this, and there's a group called region carter. If you are not seeing this, then likely you're using an older version that you, and you will need to update the such studio. So here, the, in terms of region color, instead of showing the assigned color, which is the automatic assigned color when it's being added here, we switch this to matrix. So a matrix here will present the color in terms of the um, the matrix associated with the region. Here is like showing the, the average QA value of each region, and you can switch this to current track. So current track is the left aqua fasciculus. And you can see here is like some of the hot connected regions showing up. And by changing the mass value, so you change this color bar regions and you can see how it visualize the track to region connectivity, the so-called track to region connect on here. And if you set the second one, the right hand side, you will see the right hand side showing up singulum or inferior frontal occipital fasciculars. Um, you can visualize the track here. 
And instead of showing different color, you can have a color map that some building color map will be ready to use uh, for visualizing the, uh, the connectivity based on your preference here. In addition to visualization, if you want to get the exact value, the function will be under the region. There will be a new item called track to region counter tone. So once you have a list of region on the left and a list of tracks on the right, you can use this function. And once you get it, you can copy the result to a clipboard. Usually I would pass the result into Excel sheet. And you can see here, you will be an N by N matrix. The rows will be each of the track and the column will be each of the region. And here, pressing to the value, the, here the con kind of the connectivity values are ranged between zero and one. One means the entire volume of this region are crossed or innovated by the track. So for example, like 0.02 point means that this region, the 2% of the volume at this region are crossed by or like passing by our fasciculars at the lab. So it's called kind of the volume ratio of the region that been passed by tra tra trajectory and we use as a connectivity here. So this will be available through the interface. Of course, we can do it, do this in command line and you can refer to the online documentation that under the track analysis uh, function. So go to the DSS Studio website under the region and track analysis. Go to this page. Yeah, the first example is newly added. You could uh, assign the fifth file of the subject. And here for the track, you can include all tracks that have been mapped by using automatic fiber tracking. And then here, the connectivity, you can specify the name of the address. Here, the send as an R example is HTTPMMP, and you can assign multiple of them separated by comma. So this concludes the function of track to region connect and hope you find this useful in your research.